Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jolie, and today is April 21st. I'm going to be reading from Courage to Change. This reading, if you're following along, is on page 112. And um, kitty, little moon's here with us. Say hello. <laughs> She doesn't want to say hi. That's okay. Maybe she will later. All right. So here we go. Let's get reading. So page 112, April 21st. Something I've come to appreciate in al -Anon is our unity in diversity. Tradition four says that each group is autonomous, free of conduct, meetings in a way, free to conduct meetings in any way that suits its members as long as it abides by the traditions and doesn't harm the overall unity of Al-Anon. So some groups stick to the suggested meeting format. Some groups uh, use a slightly different structure. So why should I get my nose bent out of shape? Because another Al-Anon group chooses to follow a meeting format different from one familiar to me. Why should I assume that my way is the right way? And when I remember to keep an open mind, I find that the principles of the Yalanon program remain exactly the same, no matter which group or city I visit. So each of us plays an essential part in this remarkable fellowship, supporting one another as we recover from the effects of alcoholism in our lives. With this solid foundation of love and support, our individual differences can only make us richer as a whole. And today's reminder, it says, in the perfect order of my higher powers world, all things are beautiful. Again, in the perfect order of my higher powers world, all things are beautiful. So I will pray to let go of my own rigidity. I pray to let go of my own rigidity, because that's all I can do uh, with the help of my higher power, so that I might see the beauty of unity in diversity. So, um, there's a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson, and it says, a foolish consistency is the hobgoblin of little minds. That's a great word, hobgoblin, hobgoblin, hobgoblin. <laughs> so, all right, again, a foolish consistency is the hobgoblin of little minds. Okay, Ralph. So I don't know <laughs> what a hobgoblin is goblin, but it just sounds silly. So let's just move on with that. So maybe I want to hear what you guys have to say about that quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson. So it's good for me, like I can appreciate the diversity um, in, in all the different uh, meetings and people that are in Al-Anon, because uh, we all are we all have our own stories and differences, but we all have that unity of purpose, which is to recover one day at a time from the effects that alcoholism has, has um, brought into our, our life story. And um, we can be there for each other because we can maybe, you know, like today I was at a meeting and I was able to relate to the speaker. Um, there was, a, it was a speaker meeting and I can relate to her story. It wasn't my story, but it was very similar. So I was like, okay. I felt like somehow we were united, though I would have never met her any other way. We don't run in the same circles, though this particular circle of unity is that we both have been affected by someone um, in our in the line of our of our life that had alcoholism and addiction issues and it's a thinking disorder because when we're affected we get distorted thinking patterns we have codependent patterns because we're 
we, we become the adult when we're a child to, we become the caregiver maybe to our, to our parents or um, we have to take care of our brothers or sisters. Um, and then there's weird resentments in that case, right? Because we resent having to take care of them maybe or the brothers and sisters who we took care of resent us. Like everyone has, that's a fact. That's the effect of alcoholism. Whether or not that particular parent that we are taking care of was alcoholic or, or an addict because they may have been affected by the dad, their father or their spouse, or, you know, it's just, it's, it's a, it's a, like an ongoing, it's like dominoes. Like it just, it affects us from, you know, those past lives, those, those, um, grandparents and those their grandparents and so on and so forth it doesn't have to be like we all become affected because there's this like that that family story so I just think that that's good to have diversity so that we can uh I don't I still don't get the foolish consistency is the hobgoblin of little minds I'm gonna have to think about that one so please comment Please like so that other people can find this, this, uh, this content. And um, I added this reading for today because the other two books have already been up and those are Hope for Today and One Day at a Time in Al-Anon. So if you would like those readings as well for today, just go into the main page, go into the search button and just type in the date and it'll pop up the readings for today, as well as the other days if you're looking for, because there are 365 days in this year and each day has readings. So I'm just um, uh, doing an inventory of trying to make sure that I have all three of those books for each day. So doing the best I can with that. So very grateful for you guys and the kitty. Little Moon is here, say hello. <laughs> She's not saying that. All right, well, let's end this with the serenity prayer. A moment of silence for the still sick and suffering to be present here. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we can't change, to have the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Keep coming back. It works if you work it, and you are worth it. And I love you. Much love. See you tomorrow, okay?